Guys, so in this video, <laughs> how's your day, guys? Um, happy Sunday, um, March um, 1, na? yeah, 2020. So, in this video, guys, um, gusto ko sana i like to discuss, like, you know, bakang iba sa inyo, um, maybe gusto, kailangan to, like in school or ano. So, how do you run your, ang tawag dyan, your Java program in sa command prop? Diba, diba kayo, sanay kayo, like, sa mga IDEs, like for example NetBeans or Eclipse. So, what I mean is, di ba, pa, kung, di ba, kung ang iba sa inyo, uh, alam niyo, alam niyo ba yung, ano, like the Linux operating system? I maybe ang iba sa inyo is, alam niyo yun. So, di ba, you do, how, how do you run Java in Linux? Ang Java kasi is built in ata sa, sa Linux or yung Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Linux is the kernel. So, yung Ubuntu, uh, operating system, yung OS, is how do you run dun yung Java? Is basically, you use the tawag dyan yung terminal. So, eto, sa, in Windows naman, how do we run Java in, um, in the command prompt? Ganon. So, command prompt, basically, eto, yung type nyo lang yung CMD, just this CMD. So, eto, bago tayo mag, uh, magsimula, is, I recommend muna to watch this, cause, kailangan muna i-install yung JRE at saka JDK. So, you can watch this video here, kahit the first 15 minutes lang, kahit dun lang sa part na in-install lang yung, ang tawag dyan, yung JRE at saka JDK. So, basically, etong video kasing in-update ko is for installing JRE, JDK, at saka NetBeans. Kahit dun lang sa may part sa JRE at saka JDK. So, yun. yun. So, pero kung meron na kayo, di, eh, di, that's good. I mean, okay, yeah, that's good. So, to check kung okay ang JRE nyo at saka um, ja, uh, JDK. So, JRE stands for, inulit ko na dito sa video na to. I hope na kung napanood nyo. Um, Java Runtime env um, Environment. So, to check if meron kayo is just type Java, open CMD. Yan. Kapag may lubas na something like this. oh Ganyan. To check the version, um, check um, Java ver dash, ang tawag dyan, dash, version. So, basically, um, it's 1.8. So, Java Runtime, basically, that's the environment kung saan mo pinaparaan yung Java programs mo. Like, basically, like a simple hello world, ganon. So, and also for the, clear ko muna, CLS. So, for the JavaC, yeah, I mean JDK, so all you have to do is type JavaC, or Java C, kung ano man tawag. It, it, I think it means Java compiler. <laughs> I'm isiguro. So, for the version, to check, um, Java version, JavaC version. Yan. So, one thing muna, a quick reminder. Um, tingnan nyo to. Ti, wait lang, CLS ko. Ja, um, Java version. Java version. Tingnan nyo yung version ng, ano, ng Java at saka Java. Pareho sila. So, it is important guys na pareho sila. Cause, if ever man mas, mas mataas yung version, version ng Java nyo, or basically, this is the um, JDK. Yung JDK to, once you install JDK on, yung, on your computer, this is basically the JDK. So, once na-install nyo yan, um, mag- I mean, once nag-install kayo ng latest version, ang latest version is pagkakalang ko is yung 13, tsaka ang Java environment, uh, Java, JRE nyo is Java Runtime Environment nyo is 1.8, so mas lower ang version, magkakaroon ng problema yan. Hindi yan ma mararan. So, I'll do that in the next video. And I'll, ano naman uh, rin sa solution kung paano yon. I think may nahanap ako, I've done some research sa Stack Overflow. <laughs> so, yun. Um, Ang tawag dyan, so, I'll assume na dito kasi sa video ko na to, dito, is in-install ko dyan yung, yung, yung JR at saka JDK, JDK na in-install in natin dito sa video na to, is basically yung, yung 1.8 or yung 8, same version for the Java at saka JRE, I mean, JDK at saka JRE. So, same, same yung version ng JRE at saka JDK yung in-install ko dito. So, yun. So, if gusto lang kung medyo mataas yung, kung mataas yung version nyo ng JDK, you can at least watch, then palitan nyo lang yung version, ganun. So, which is, uh, iyan ako sa next video. Yun. So, if ever, kung ganito na ang version nyo, ganito, so that's good. So, ay, oops. Yeah, ganyan. So, meron na kayo nito, that's good, that's good. Yeah. So, yun nga, <laughs> panoorin nyo to, kahit yung first 15 minutes lang. So, that's really, really quick na. So, eto, we have here two Java programs. So, eto, yung dalawang, kahit anong Java programs nyo. So, basically, this is just a simple hello world. 
Yan, tsaka etong GUI. Uh, na, uh, sample GUI. Just a sample GUI ng kono code na na sa internet. I mean, paano natin to iraraan dito sa CMD? So, unang-una, first things first is, kahit saan nyo to, kahit etong yung Java file nyo, kahit saan nyo nyan ilagay, kahit ilagay nyo dito sa drive C nyo, ilagay nyo nyan sa drive C, ilagay nyo dito sa downloads, ilagay nyo dito sa ilagay nyo dito kahit saan, kahit ilagay nyo dito, for example, dito sa program files, ilagay nyo dito sa Counter-Strike Source, ilagay nyo dyan, okay lang yan. Basta, sa CMD, iset nyo yung path doon, dito. So, for example, eto, um, sa so desktop, ilagay ko sa desktop, so, dito, for example, so, all we have to do, yung, eto yung path, so, iano lang natin, so, CD, desktop. So, nasa desktop na tayo, ganon. So, yeah. So, anong sunod? So, anong sunod? Iko-compile natin. So, basically, we are, all we have to do is javac. Javac or Java C, kung anong pangalan dyan. Unayin natin tong hello. Then, is hello dot java. Yan, ganyan. So, kung walang error, makita nyo, I created a class. Yan. So, kung walang, walang error, meaning successfully yung pag-compile nya, Ang um, quick reminder, um, sinabi ko na ba to in my tutorial about introduction sa Java? Sina sinabi ko na ito to eh, pero kung ano, dihabol ko na lang. Kung ano ang, si um, sinabi ko na talaga to, in Java guys, um, in Java, kung ano yung class name nyo dito, yung, yung class, yung, the whole, the, yung class, yung public class, diba? You put public class, then may main method. Kung ano yung class nyo dito, yun rin dapat yung file name. Yun rin dapat yung file name nyo. Dapat pareho yan. Tulad nito, eto. GUI, GUI. Um, hello, hello. Pareho dapat yan. If if ever magkaiba yan, uh, magkakakos yan ng error. So, gusto nyo makita? Okay, let's try. Ganyan. Um, try ko ganyan. So, i-compile ko ulit. Uh, diba? So, in error. So, a uh, public should be declared file name hello java blah blah blah. So kailangan pareho dapat yung class name diyan tsaka yung file name. So compile ko ulit. Yan. So that's the thing. So na compile na natin. So basically this is the java yun yung I mean the JDK yung install. So iroran na natin. So java type java then yung file name or yung yeah the file name hello ganyan lang. So when you type this it says hello world kasi hello world to ayan oh hello world it just simply prints hello world so wait may nakalimutan na ako uh, nakalimutan ko sabihin um nakalimutan at may naalala ako wait lang guys ano kasi sabi ko wait wala naman ata so sinabi ko na basta eto <coughs> just me pareho dapat yung file name dito oo yeah yeah oh so, I mean, may naisip kasi ako kanina nag-like dumaan sa isip ko, pero okay na, okay na. So, yun. Yun. Um, so, magtatanong kayo, next is the GUI. Kung magtatanong kayo, pwede ba ang GUI dito sa, ano, like, di ba, when you develop Java programs in IDEs, nag-GUI kayo. So, pwede ba ang GUI dito? The answer is, hindi pwede. So, the joke, the joke lang, guys. Pwedeng pwede. <laughs> the joke lang. Pwedeng, pwede, pwede. Pwedeng, pwede, pwede dito. So, kung tataka kayo, ano bang itsura niyan? So, basically, pareho lang nama, naman. So, for example, um, nasa desktop na tayo. So, i-compile naman natin. So, paano nga yun? Um, you type is Java. Will you compile the Java program? So, in GUI dot Java. Don't forget na iset yung path kung asan yung yung file ng Java, yung Java files niyo, okay? Iset yung path. So yan, um Java GUI dot Java. So once we oops, once we enter, walang error. So basically ito yung code. And yan, you can pause and copy an, an example kung meron kayo diyan na sample. So then we compile it Java GUI. Yung GUI, GUI yung file name lang, wag niyo nang lagay, wag na kayo maglagay ng dot .java. GUI yung ano lang, file name lang. Then boom. So basically this is it. Um a simple example, uh, 'di ba? Pareho lang naman 'di ba ang itsura niya, like yung may icon dito. Tsaka ano, yung like simple ano. So yan. So that's it guys, that's how you run um your Java like eto na in command prompt di ba sa mga linux diyan may mga familiar sa ubuntu di ba ginagawa niyo to in ubuntu like doon sa mga nagaano sa ubuntu di ba ginagawa nila to so eto the in ubuntu kung gusto niyo 
nitro tong itay in Linux or Ubuntu, pareho ganito rin, ganito rin. Ata, I mean, pero yung last time nung try ko kasi matagal na, like second year pa ako no. Oh, ganito basta, oh ganito. Ganito rin, basta tama yung path, tsaka yung file name, ano yung file name dapat pareho sa class name, ganon. So kasi mag-error yan. That's the rule in ano eh Um, Java, yeah, that's, that's, that's the rule in Java. So, yun guys, nalaman nyo na kung paano to. So, siyempre, hindi nyo naman to gagawin kasi, ba ba't nyo to gagawin? Ba't kayo mag, ay, tawag dyan, X ko na, so nag, ano na siya. So, unang-una, ba't nyo to gagawin kasi, ba't kayo mag, develop ng code? I mean, maggagawa ng code, tsaka, ikakompile and run nyo, nyo. eh, pwede naman kayo gumamit ng IDE, di ba? So, Eto lang, kung gusto nyong pahirapan sa sarili nyo, <laughs> kung gusto nyong pahirapan sa sarili nyo, I mean, why not, di ba? Eto, code kayo dito, isa-isa ninyo, Java compile, di ba? So, yun. So, yun guys, thank you so much for the tutorial. So, I hope na nakatulong to. So, in the next video, uh, I'll show some, yung error na sinasabi ko na what if kung hindi to magkaiba yung version nito. And some solutions to it. So, yun guys, thank you so much for the video. I hope na nakatulong to. Yeah. So, yun. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.